we had to see what are the roles and responsibilities. Irrespective of the type of pharmacy, whether they are individually owned, pharmacist owned, the chain pharmacy, hospital based pharmacy, whatever the pharmacy, the prime responsibility of the pharmacies is to supply the quality medicine to the patient, to the customer or the representative. This is the, so that means the first responsibility is to supply medicine. In order to supply medicine, what we need, we must have a quality product available in the pharmacy. So the first responsibility is procurement. The first responsibility is the procurement. So we have two terminologies, procurement and buying. And they of course differ as far as the retail pharmacy is concerned, procurement and buying is same. But when it comes to the hospital, it has a different meaning. Procurement means acquiring things by any means, not only but by buying. Buying means you make a payment and you acquire. If it is the other way of acquiring, I may get a donation, a hospital may get a donation products. So that is also procurement. But as far as retail pharmacy is concerned, procurement and buying does not have a difference. Because even if you get a in a community pharmacy, one gets physician samples. It cannot be kept in the premises of the pharmacy. It is illegal. So everything is to be properly purchased. So procurement is first. So in the procurement, first thing is to be decided is what medicines are to be procured? What medicines are to be kept in the pharmacy for sale? So identifying the medicines identifying the medicines so not only identifying the medicines we have to see what brands are to be kept because if we look at it in the paracetamol we have a dozen of brands locally available so we have to do a market research which brands moves faster and we have to procure those brands then we have to see how much quantity to buy because the pharmacy may have a limited space and if we buy more quantity, there will be not enough space to keep on the shelf. And not only that, it involves large amount of investment also. So one need to do this research, how much is required probably for a week or probably for 15 days and periodically one can continue ordering the requirement. And third is receiving the products, receiving the products. So what happens is we have ordered the supplier, but we have to be sure that the supplier or the vendor is a legal supplier. The vendor or the wholesaler or the supplier has a license to sell medicine to a retailer. So now the procurement goes identifying the medicines and the brands. Number two, it goes how much quantity to be procured and that from which supplier which vendor, which wholesaler will put the order for the supply. Once we have given this purchase order, ask the supplier to supply the medicines, the medicines come back with an invoice and it is the pharmacist's responsibility to check whatever the products we have ordered, whether the same products are being supplied or not. 